Hey, I'm Jim Weber in the Fox 13 Weather Center. Thanks for logging on to MyFoxHurricane.com. So we continue to watch this intensifying hurricane. That's about as bad of a situation as you can get. We've got a landfalling hurricane that is continuing to intensify. A hurricane reconnaissance plane has been flying in this system essentially non-stop at this point and they are continuing to watch the pressure fall in this storm and that is indicative of a strengthening system we're still watching these winds slowly increasing in this storm you can see on that visible satellite loop the center just off the coast of panama city right now here's another view the enhanced satellite loop very very intense the colder cloud top showing up in that purple magenta shade so this is an extremely intense hurricane category four right now and unfortunately pretty much all the predictions that we've been talking about for several days now look like they are going to come true with this major hurricane devastation across the panhandle as it nears the coastline and then the storm surge as well everywhere pretty much to the right of the center now about the only piece of maybe positive information that we are seeing with this is we're starting to see signs of maybe an outer eye wall trying to form with this system now this looks like it may start to go through an eye wall replacement cycle so close to the coastline we're not going to see that actually complete but if we're seeing the signs that it's starting one that could mean it's leveling off and it's not going to intensify anymore now certainly that's not going to help us a whole lot but if we can at least keep it from intensifying even more at least that's a little bit of good news out of a very very bad situation notice the movement with this right now it's also turned uh made that turn more towards the north northeast right now at 14 miles an hour so we've been talking about for days we'd be watching for that little bit of a turn uh and exactly where that happened would really help to hone in exactly where this makes landfall and it is made uh, that turn right now winds are at 145 miles an hour 29.4 86 degrees west even as this makes its way up into southwestern georgia look at that it is still a category two hurricane it will continue to weaken but even as it works its way over the carolinas and out over water this could still be a tropical storm at that point and then transitions out over the atlantic as an extra tropical system winds continue to go up and, and remember it has not made landfall as of this recording 68 mile an hour wind gusts in apalachicola 40 in panama city so all these areas will continue to watch these winds going up, conditions going down very, very rapidly at this point. So wind speeds, the yellow shade, that is the extent of the tropical storm force winds. Then you have the hurricane force winds working their way through the panhandle up into Georgia. It continues to weaken, but still, this is going to cause widespread problems, not only with the winds, the surge, but the heavy rainfall that will occur with this across Georgia and up into the Carolinas. Look at these wave heights just amazing and these are now starting to work their way on shore across the uh, panhandle and up into the big bend remember much of this coastline very shallow very shallow water so we tend to funnel a lot of this water not only along the coastline are we talking about the surge but uh, a mile or two inland is going to be affected by this surge as well and there you see along the coastline uh, 8 to 10 up to 12 feet of surge pushing a mile or two inland as we go through the day today even along our coastline and especially as we cycle towards the high tide cycles uh, we're going to see that uh, flooding up into parts of pinellas county up in the citrus county and also throughout tampa bay we've been seeing uh, throughout the past couple of high tide cycles those above normal tides causing some of that flooding so still a extremely dangerous situation uh, unfolding across the panhandle we're going to keep you updated right here on myfoxhurricane.com